Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Ms. Rocks and I'm Daily Rambles. Uh, today we're doing Fergie's new album, Double Duchess. This will be my review slash reaction to it because, um, of course, some songs got has already been released and stuff, so um, I'm going to kind of be jumping over those songs, but then we'll be listening to the other songs and I'll be doing a reaction to those as well. And I got it from Target, so I got the bonus track, so we'll do that as well. So, yay. So, um, we're going to start off with Hungry, which I already did, so I'm going to just jump over that a little bit. But I still love the song to death. Alright, so that was Hungry featuring Rick Ross. Like I said, it's a good track. Um, I think I said it was a B plus because it got a touch repetitive. And um, <clears throat> let's see, I'm trying to think. I'll probably just link the video in the description to the song. But um, overall, it was a really, really good song. I think I said an A plus. I mean, an A borderline B plus. Because I feel like the intro was cut, um, was drawn out a little bit. But other than that, it was a good song. So, um, the next song we'll be uh, reacting to is Like It Ain't Nothing. Uh, <clears throat> I was about to hit to that song back. So. Um, this song is okay. I'll probably just give this a B minus, almost a C. I just don't like the F word that much in a song. I just feel like you, it felt kind of unnecessary to me. I just, I'm not a big fan of the F word. I understand the context of it and everything. Like, just a smidge, just a snitch. But um, I just feel like it was really repetitive in the way it kept saying it over and over and over again. And I don't mind it once or twice in a song. But if you guys say it over 10 to 12 times in a song, really? Let's think of something a little bit more interesting. But other than that, it was, it was just okay. I just really couldn't get into it that much. But it was still a decent song. So the next song we'll be jumping into is You Already, Already Know featuring Nicki Minaj. And this is the interlude version. So I haven't heard this. Oh, I have heard this actually. Okay, my only gripe so far about the song is the uh, the sample they're using in here. They already she already did this with the Black Eyed Peas with I'm a B. No way. Um. I'm going to be rocking that body. So I think it's rocking the body. Anyway, they did a whole music video. It was like two songs. Anyway, the point is, she already kind of covered it. And I feel like you need to cover it again. But um, it does kind of work for this song. So I'm not that mad at it. But I, just, I was expecting like something a little bit different. I 
Oh, hey, Nikki. I wanna ball where the nets go. I'm on stage, you can stand where the guests go. The refs go. I got these hoes getting the pass. I got that in the set flow. I made a movie like Seth Row. And since I came in, the five shows made three million a week. You are now looking at the best, the elite. Too bad you can't go and invest in pitch. I, I, I know they on E, but I don't give a F though. Bad attitude, but my pitch is the best though. I ain't some man. Ain't no going slow. That's right, baby. I like the switch up right here. It's actually really neat. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. I'm sorry. Uh, that last part of the song? No, thank you. Um, but other than that, it was a decent song. I'll give this uh, another B. Um, I just didn't... I really did not like the ending at all. I would just cut it and just keep going, to be quite honest. But um, other than that, it was, it was all right. So let's go into the next song, Just Like You. Oh, that's a pretty good song. I'll give this one an A. Um, 90 plus, I just feel like um, they could have done just a little bit more in the uh, the last like 30 seconds of the song. But I kind of conflicted at the same time because I just like just ad libs. Is, there's really nothing just ad libs and just her just kind of just just put just putting it there. Uh, I just I don't know. I conflicted, so I definitely give this an A. It's a definitely a good vibe song. Um, the B is really neat and. It's like, look what you made me do on Crazy Just Like You, Dinner Just Set For Two. So I kind of um, kind of like that. So um, the next song we'll be getting into is A Little Work. Yeah. 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 
Oh, I light this right down. That's a really good song. It's like a like a uplifting type of song. It's like even though we're all broken, even though we're all like this, we can all improve and we just need a little work. Like to work on ourselves or to work on whatever you're trying to build up to. So I really do like the song. I love her albums in the song too. They're really on point and really cool. And I just like the song in general. It's just like a nice uplifting song, but it's not trying too hard like some other people. They tried too hard with the lifting stuff. I feel like this one seemed effortless for her, so I really, really like it. So I'm gonna give this definitely an A plus. It's really good. So the next song is called Life Goes On. So I feel like it's a nice little bridge to it. Um I'll probably skip around just a little bit on this one, um, just because it's been out forever. So I'll probably skip this one and then Milk Money, because I literally just did I put the video yesterday, last night for that. And, um, so yeah, we just want to kind of skip through those a little bit and cut to save it till morning, but like I said, right now as life goes on. Okay, weird ending, so I'm not going to really worry about that, but I like the song, so, um, like I said, I heard this, like, a bunch of times. I didn't feel the need to actually do, um, do a complete run-through on it, just because I've heard it so many times. Um, I'll give this one a, uh, B-. minus, Uh, just because that weird thing at the very end, but, so we're going to kick in right into MILF Money. See, when it's barely used, that F word is barely used in that song, it works for it, but like, ain't nothing was trying too hard, I feel like. Uh, I think I said I right, give this like a, I forgot my rating on this, I think I said A, A plus, something like that. So anyway, the next song we'll be listening to is Save It Till Morning. I do like how it's kind of stripped back a little bit. I think it really adds to the song. I love that part! So neat! Yeah. 
Uh, a plus. Yes. It's so cool. I really, really like the song. It kind of reminds me a lot of Big Girls Don't Cry, but I kind of like this version just a little bit more than that. It sounds really good. I love her um, vocals on it. I love her, no her high notes in here. I love that. I love that very part at the end and towards the middle of the song. Super awesome. I love the song. So the next song we'll be listening to is Enchante featuring Axel Jack, which I think is her son. So let's listen to this. That sounds so cute. Aww. I love this beat. I love this right down. Uh, another A plus song. I love this song. Um, I just I just think Axel Jax is so cute on the song. Like singing that stuff in French, that's so freaking adorable. I just love the song in general. It has a nice beat to it. The breakdown's really cool as well. And I just love the I just love the song a lot. So the next song we're going to listen to is Tension. So let's listen to that. Ooh. Oh, I love this. That was a good, really good song. I'll probably guess one a B plus. Um, I just feel they could have had a little bit more switch ups in there, but I do like the breakdown and the beat's pretty good too. I love the guitar in there as well. And um, that's about it for that one. So the next song we'll be listening to is LA Love. We're going to jump around this one because it's been out since 2014, something like that. So we're just going to jump around um, LA Love. I'm 
Um, I don't give this an A plus, and like I said, I didn't do a full review on it just because it's been out for years, and I've always liked the song. So, um, I'll, like I said, I give this an A plus. It's just a great party song. So the next song we'll be listening to is "Love Is Blind." I don't know how I feel about this beat. That was a pretty good song. Um, I'll give this a B. Um, it was a touch long for me, um, but I do like the reggae sound. I think it does work for her, and I like the song. But I don't, I'm not like in love with it, but I do like it. So I'll give it a B. So the next song we're going to listen to is Love is Pain. Four to seven minutes. I love the guitar! Um, that was a pretty good song. I kind of actually kind of like the outro a little bit too. Uh, I'll give this like an A+. Plus. You can tell she was very emotional when she was singing the song. I really, really like it. Her high notes and her, her just belting those notes and that guitar solo was all super cool. And it was just a fantastic song. So um, I'll give that like an A+. Plus. It was really good. Uh, so the next song, we're into bow strike territory. It's the Target edition, so the next song is Diddy Zone. Get off the couch. Get out your head. Get off the couch. Get out I love this. Thank you. 
Another good song. I'll give this one. Uh, I'll give it an A. It was really good. Um, I liked it, and I like Diddy's throughout the song as well. Just saying, like, just random stuff, I feel like. Um, it was just a fun little party song. So the next song we'll be listening, the last song we'll be listening to, I should say, is Cleopatra. So let's listen to that. Whoa, this beat. Uh, that was a pretty good song. Um, I'll give this one a uh, B plus. It was pretty good. I feel like I could have had a little bit more switch ups in there. But other than that, really good song. And the album as a whole, I will give the. I guess I'll give it a B. B minus. But that's really good in terms of the way I grade stuff. Um, I pretty much liked all the songs except for like a couple. There was a couple I just really couldn't get into. But other than that, excellent album I waited 11 years for this and I might actually do the Duchess um, later on down the road but it's going to be a minute because I put this in the very forefront of all the albums I'm doing right now and I still got Glory to do I still got Breakaway to do for Kelly Clarkson I still got Love Angel Music Baby from Gwen Stefani and a bunch of other stuff so anyway uh, that's going to do it for me so if you like this video please give it a like comment down below and then subscribe for more stuff. And if you made it all the way through, bless you. And thank you so much. I will uh, certainly appreciate it that y'all did that. Um, I want y'all to have an awesome day. And just be awesome. And subscribe. Because I know you really want to. <laughs> anyway, I'm also doing TV shows. I'm rolling a bunch out. I'm recording like a bunch. And they'll be out so soon. Anyway, I'll see y'all later, and like I said, have an awesome day. Bye, everybody.